welcome back to another video. I'm at the Our Mother of Sorrows Cemetery. This is the final resting place for Debbie Constantino. I think about her all the time. I think it was a really horrible situation that she got caught up in. Domestic violence is really difficult to get out of and I think it's really horrible her last few hours and what she went through. And I was even reading about her daughter, Raquel. She was actually charged with um, assault for Debbie. Even after she passed, she was in court. And there was just so much disrespect for Debbie. I feel really bad that she was in that situation and that happened to her. Even on the find a grave, you're usually able to like pin the grave and it'll help you find it. But I was really even having a problem with that. So I have the spirit box with me and I'm going to go ahead and ask the spirit box if it will come through and tell me where Debbie is. Let's just ask it and see if it'll give me information. Debbie Constantino. I'm at the cemetery where you where you're buried. I'm having some difficulties finding your grave. Could you tell me which way to go? Am I near you right now? It said around it. Are you right? Are you near the right, right here where I am? Or are you over by the chapel? That's me. Are you to the right or to the left? Debbie, if you're here, will you say your name? Like it said it, like it was on Debbie. Debbie, are you to the right by the chapel or to the left by the mausoleum? Can you tell me what section you're in? She's in the St. Gabriel section, and I saw it. it's on the marble, so I would think it would be over this way, over here by the chapel area. Debbie, is it okay that I'm here filming at your graveside? Is that okay? I don't mean any disrespect at all. I just want to pay my final respects to you. I'm sorry about what you were going through. Your final hours. It sounded like it said drugs. Is that what was going on with Mark? It said something like... I wouldn't take him back. Was that what this was about? You were trying to leave him and divorce him and he wouldn't let you leave? It sounded like I said it wasn't love. Was he abusing you the whole time that you were together? Yeah, he was. What about your daughter, Raquel? Like, why was she abusing you too? Was she on drugs also? It's, 
It sounded like it said she was. And then it was all drugs. What drugs were they on? It sounded like it said smoking. What were they smoking? Debbie, if I walk over to the right, will I be able to find you over there? Will you help me find you? Will you lead me in the right direction? Okay, I'm going to walk over, so I'll go to the right. Is that okay? Are you to the right? It makes sense to me that that's where she would be because that's where most of the marble ones are. So I'm going to walk over there and check it out. So I will see you in a minute. So guys, you are not going to believe this, but I just got out of the car a second ago. I walked right here to the right where she said she said I'm right there so look literally she's right here so it says Deborah Constantino 1962 to 2015 and Lillian P. Tickax 1934 to 2019. I'm wondering, maybe that's her mother. Debbie Constantino, if you're here, will you come through and say your name? Debbie, do you know where I am right now? Can you tell me where I am? Can you see me? Well, I guess. I'm at. Sound like time it. I'm so sorry about what happened to you. I mean, no disrespect, but I was wondering do you have any messages or anything to say to the paranormal? What do you have to say about what happened to you? Do you have anything to say about the afterlife? Can you tell me what happens to you when you pass? What's happening? Did you see a white light when you passed? Very hot. It sounded like it said very hot. Respect? Yeah, I only mean respect. I'm a paranormal investigator also. I have a channel, a YouTube channel. And so I basically just do what you do. I just want answers. Can you give me any answers about the afterlife and what happens to the past? Messages for your daughter Raquel. It said the devil. Does she have a demon? It said he killed him. Who killed him? Why did Mark kill Debbie and himself? What? Why did he resort to that? 
depressed. He was depressed. Did Mark have a demon from doing investigations? I thought I heard a woman say he did, and then I heard a man say yes. Was he, was Mark possessed? It said like not for real. It was either not for real or for real. Mark, are you sorry about what you did to Debbie? He said like news. Debbie, have you forgiven Mark? Sound like it said never. And there was a man's voice. Debbie, what happens when we pass? What happens? It's not like time. Did you have to be judged for what you did in your life? It sounded like it said I went without. Well, I should probably go. A man just pulled in and saw me, but I guess he doesn't really know what I'm doing. I'm just holding my camera. I'm good. Mark or Debbie, do you want to say anything else before I go? It said like F you. Who said that? Mark, are you sorry about what you did to Debbie? Would you take it back now if you could? It's not like it said I wanted to. Debbie, do you want to say anything else before I go? It's like I'm tired. Are you okay now? Are you in heaven? Is there a heaven? It said like heaven. Do you want to say anything else before I go? I heard a sentence right there. Well, thank you for talking to me and I'm really sorry about what happened to you. cemetery. I'm just kind of working my way over to there's a mausoleum over there. I read online that this cemetery was opened in 1927. It used to be called the St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery. So I just want to check out some more of these headstones and just working my way over to the mausoleum since 1925, 1955, let's see, 1929. That's a neat picture for being that old. Some of these These are nice headstones for as old as they are. That one's 1928. Mikkel Inda, 1881 to 1930, a native of France. And this one, Joseph Caton, 1850 to 1916, his wife. Delia Caton, 1855 to 1931. It's pretty big. This is the baby Jesus section. They have each section marked off. What's that? So this one's called the. Flower Isles and Sacred Heart. You know, the smaller headstones. 
who seem like children, age five years, 22 days. Marilyn McGurk, August 9th to December 26, 1927. This one's got a little lamb on it. 1925 to 1928, this is my three-year-old. Baby Bogle, 1933 to 1933. Baby Linda Gale Ashurst, November 22nd, 1954, January 24th, 1960. She plays in God's Garden now, so she was six. Six year old baby Richard J. Billsborough, 1924 to 1930. Six year old. All, a lot of six year olds right here. It's like something with the school or something. Hermini Meister, born and died May 11, 1930. And then here's some other ones that are like. Twin of Melissa, baby. And then more, these are all babies. This is all babies. It's sad. 1958, June 10th, 1958 to July 17th, 1958. These are all 1958. And then some of them, it just goes on and on. And if you can hardly even see them. And they just keep going. I'm going to keep going. I want to go over here and check out the mausoleum. So I'll see you in a minute. It's kind of dark in here. It's really pretty. These are all late 90s. That one's 1967. It's so quiet in here. There's a whole upper section. Let's go. Check it.
So this is a pretty nice cemetery. This mausoleum is really nice and peaceful and what a nice place for her to end up. I mean, there's some pretty crummy places in Nevada where you, where you could be buried, but this seems like a really nice, pretty place. This seems pretty full, too. There's not a lot of openings. I mean, there's some, there's like that wall, but I don't think they can use that wall. There's even spots right there, but they all say reserved. So it's hard to even get a spot in here. Well, the dates vary in here. There's 1963, but then that one's 2016, 1966. This place closes at 4 o'clock, so that's too bad that I couldn't come here at night. I would definitely come and check this out. They probably lock this up at night. Someone was walking up here. I swear I heard the door. Dude, I, that scared me, I swear, I heard the door. It sounded like someone came in the door and was coming up the stairs. And there is no one in this building. So I have no idea what that was, but it scared me. Look, there's no one. There's no one here. Does anyone want to say hello? Who's here? It's here to help me. If anyone is buried in here, if you want to say your name, you can go ahead and say it through this device. Dude, look 
get in. It sounded like someone walking. I heard shuffling. I'm sure that was on the camera. Like, that's not me. I'm standing here. What? It sounded like someone walking. What the heck's going on? That was weird. Again. Who's coming up the stairs? Who is, who's walking? Who did I hear walking down the hall? What's your name? It's a like we're neighbors. Are you buried? Are you right here on this wall? What's your name? It said help and then it said trouble. Who's in trouble? Who needs help? Can you tell me whose family this is? Maynard Herrera, are you here now? Will you come through? Can you say hello? Someone gets said hello. Maynard, is that you? Can you say your name? It's someone that said get out. Do I need to leave here? Is it okay? It's a leave. Why? Is it disrespectful that I'm here? Do you know who Debbie Constantino is? Is she here with me? Debbie, is it okay that I'm filming here? Do you have anything else to say before I go? Okay, so I'm going to go back over to Debbie's grave before I go. So I was just going to leave the cemetery and I just came back to Debbie's grave and I noticed that someone put some flowers on it. And you know, it's, it kind of blew my mind, but I looked it up and today is eight years since the anniversary of her passing. So what are the chances that I come here eight years to the day of her passing she passed september 22nd and this is the 22nd so i noticed that someone else put some flowers here and that's what made me want to look it up because i was like is, is it like her birthday or is it like an anniversary and it is so rest in peace debbie i hope you're in a better place and you're not being harassed and you can just do whatever you want and be happy and just live your life free without Mark's control or anyone else's control. So rest in peace, Debbie, and I'll come and visit you again soon. You take care of yourself. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my little cemetery tour and the visiting of Debbie Constantino. If you or anyone you know is suffering from domestic violence or is in a really bad situation and needs help, 
I'm gonna put a number at the end so because there's just no reason that you should be living in fear if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and comment below let me know how you like the video at the cemetery and if you would like to see me do more of the outdoor investigations so thanks so much for watching have a good night bye